Students log into the Study Buddy application using the school's authentication infrastructure, including the two-factor authentication. When they first come in, they would see their course schedule for the semester, and all their course sections would be deactivated. If they want to indicate that they're interested in finding Study Buddies, they need to click on Activate, which tells the system that they are interested in finding study buddies or tutors. They can also click on empty time slots within their weekly schedule to indicate that they are busy during that time. That helps improve the schedule fit scores so that the students can find study buddies with matching schedules. So let's see if we go to the matches page at this point, we would see those three sections that we activated, Math 4, MIS 430, and MIS 445. Within each section, we see other students that also activated. So Tanner, in his profile page, he already provided some contact information, so there's a phone number. And he also provided a Zoom session ID. So these two students can very easily start an online session via Zoom and study online. You can see that the students within each section are sorted by their schedule fit. Patrick has a 79% schedule fit score with me. That means that 79% of my free time, Patrick is also free. And I can click on this calendar icon and it would open a second tab that shows anonymous schedule showing all the time slots that both of us are busy. If I go back to the initial page, you can see that Tyler has a much lower schedule fit score with me. And if I click on the combined schedule page here, you can see that many more time slots are busy. So going back to the study buddy tab, I can invite Patrick now to study and I can use an email invitation. This is a preview of what that email invitation looks like. It provides some of my contact information. And if I click send email, the email would be sent as if it was sent from the student's email. So it would show up in my outgoing Outlook folder. Other things that we can see here is the ability to initiate a WhatsApp chat with a student that indicated that their phone number is enabled for WhatsApp. The system also shows qualified tutors, so we can see that for this course, MIS 445, Edo Millet is a qualified tutor, and the icon here would then take the student to a website where they can schedule an appointment with that tutor. The difference between this tutor, Christian and Edo, is that Christian is currently not activated, meaning you can schedule an appointment with them, but this tutor is activated. How does a tutor activate or deactivate their account? They just go to their profile page and you can see under that profile page you also provide your phone number, any comments that you wish to provide, your Zoom meeting ID, and for tutors, in other words, students who were qualified by the learning center, they also have this panel that you see here. And a single click would deactivate me, meaning I'm not available right now for online tutoring. And if I go back to the matches, you can see that I'm deactivated as a tutor right now, and the Zoom link is not displayed. If I go back to the profile, activate, go back to the matches, now students within that class can initiate an online meeting with me through a Zoom link. Since a single class can have many qualified tutors, only up to three qualified tutors get listed below each course. If there are more, you get this panel, which shows that there are 18 qualified tutors for that course, and a single click here would expand, and I could see a listing of all of them, and another single click would collapse. Each one of these key pages that we see here has a question mark icon that brings up an annotated image that explains many of these things that we just saw via the video. So if I go back to the classes page, clicking on that question mark would show an annotated page for that screen as well. The last thing I wanted to demonstrate is the login process. If I sign out, and then go to the website for this application, and yes, this application is hosted on Microsoft Azure Cloud. I'm going to click Sign In. I'll pick my school account. And then after providing my user ID and password, I need to provide my second factor authentication. Log in. And I would be taken back to the main screen. So hopefully you can see how this application helps students find study buddies with matching schedules as well as tutors.